Hey, this is just a very quick update video I wanted to give about the Cybersecurity Challenge. The European Cybersecurity Challenge, but also very specifically the German Cybersecurity Challenge, which is running right now. So if you are a German student, then this video specifically is for you and hopefully you find this interesting. But even if you are not a German student, maybe there's some information here that is helpful to you, um, even if it's just, you know, information about an ongoing CTF that you could play. So let me show you quickly the website. The German Cybersecurity Challenge is a hacking security competition for mostly German students. And it's part of a larger event called the generally the European Cybersecurity Challenge, ECSC. ECSC is kind of the finale where out of a lot of different uh, countries, you can see all the participating European countries, um, they will find the national team and then they will compete on the uh, European level. I have no clue why Germany is not listed here. I mean, evidently there is one happening right now. But maybe that's why it's important that I tell you. So how can you participate? Well, here's the website of the Cybersecurity Challenge Germany, which is the German qualification round then for the, you know, the European Cybersecurity Challenge. And so let's have a look how this works. First of all, you have to know that um, the CTF is running for two months and it has already been running for one month, but it will still go for another month. So you have a really good chance if you participate and you have some time available that you can you know, perform really well. On the website, you can find all the details, what you need to have in order to actually you know, be part of the qualification round. Um, specifically, for example, there are two categories, the juniors and the seniors. You can see it here, it's uh, differentiated by age. Um, so if you are under 20, you can participate as a junior and above that as senior. But then there's also the earth category, which everybody can participate. So these challenges, you know, are not gated by nationalities or something like this. You can still play and learn and engage with the uh, larger community. So let's have a quick look at how the CTF is currently going because it has been running for a month already. So here's a site for the juniors and here's a site for the seniors. As you can see, they basically uh, look the same, but what is different is gonna be uh, the scoreboard. So right now on the juniors, you can see here that several people have solved quite a few challenges, but not every uh, challenge seems to have been solved. Either way, shout out to all of you. You do an amazing job. Um, it's pretty insane how much you solve there. And here's the current state for the seniors. You can see the experience is higher. Um, they have, you know, solved a lot more uh, of the challenges. In the juniors, there's not a single one that has solved all of them. But in senior, you know, that's the case. Um, but yeah, that's those are the different um, experiences. Uh, so congratulations, that is a really great performance. And also just in case it confuses you why the points decline in the scoreboard, it's very difficult to assign points to challenges because you want the points to reflect the difficulty um, of the challenge. And that's why CTFs uh, and competitions like this often use uh, dynamic scoring. And the score you get for a particular task declines with the amount of uh, solves because the more people solve it, probably the easier it was. And that's why, of course, at the start, you know, people that solve challenges quickly will have lots of points, but the sum of their points slowly de declines over time as soon as other people solve the same challenge because then the challenge is worth less. Um, that's why um, you see that decline. Which also means, you know, if you are a junior and you manage to solve a task that not many people have solved, you know, that's a lot of points. Um, yeah. Now in terms of challenges, uh, there are lots of different categories. As you can see here, there are some uh, introductory challenges to web, some introductory challenges uh, to reverse engineering. There's a pwn challenge, some miscellaneous and a forensic challenge and even a crypto challenge. And I think what's cool with this CTF compared to maybe other CTFs and what maybe you, and it's maybe a reason why you, even if you're not a German student, might, you might wanna uh, play this, especially if you have not uh, started uh, with CTFs before. These intro challenges are designed in a way that they are kind of like a progression. And you can see here, for example, in the intro to, to reverse engineering uh, challenge that there are, there's a readme available that basically tells you exactly how to solve this challenge. So it's very easy for you to just follow the step-by-step -step guide and you will be able to solve the first um, challenge and submit your first flag. And by doing that, you will actually learn a lot and then you can challenge yourself by going to the next challenge, which should now be a little bit more difficult. And there's a small twist and you might have to research a little bit of stuff and maybe you have to think about things, but 
um, still, it's it's just a fairly small progression from the first intro uh, challenge. And that's why I think it's very educational if you participate in the CSCG. So if you are not a German student or you cannot read German on the Earth category, when you open that, you also get um, a description in English so you can really understand the rules and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it would be cool if you participate even um, if you're not, not a student and play the CTF. And here I come to the second great part about the CSCG. It's not just about the CTF, but it's also about, you know, meeting people and networking uh, with people. And there's a Discord uh, community available. The Discord is obviously a great place to talk to other people. Don't go there and ask for a straight up solution. It is a competition in the end and people will get annoyed if you try to, you know, uh, steal solutions from somebody or you want somebody to share their solution with you. That's not going to happen. But if you put the effort into it and you maybe have some questions, um, as long as you don't um, share any spoilers and any uh, secrets about the challenge, if it's if you manage to somehow, you know, dance around the actual challenge details and you have like uh, good questions that still help you, you know, that's the place to ask. And of course, it's also um, outside of the CSCG, generally a place um, to interact with people and network or even just meet new people and make new friends. You know, when I started to do IT security, I was very lucky that I got introduced to the to a hacker space, a Stuttgart hacker space, because that was a place where a lot of cool people would meet. But not everybody was into security, even, you know, a small fraction of the people in a hacker space are really into IT security. But still, I got introduced to a community where I was able to find like minded people. Um, and so this is like very special if I was, you know, if I had discovered an online community like this, where I could, you know, participate and learn and um, would learn together, that would have been amazing. I didn't have that when I was a teenager, but I think if you, you know, are in school and you are interested in IT security, then I hope um, something like the CSCG Discord is a place uh, for you to learn. That's also the mission uh, behind basically the organization of the CSCG. Um, maybe that's also interesting to you. So behind the CSCG is actually a nonprofit. Um, it's called the Nachwuchsförderung IT Sicherheit. So, you know, this nonprofit has as a goal to support um, younger um, people into coming up in cybersecurity and helping them uh, maybe to figure out what they want to do in their career. Um, and th this nonprofit, I'm part of it. Um, I'm a member of this nonprofit. And, you know, if you uh, look here at a description of who the people are that, for example, you know, uh, organize and lead this nonprofit, all of these people do it voluntarily. Um, and they are great people. They, ha they were participants of the CCG before in the past. Um, um, they organized it or were participants, uh, really great people, uh, lots of experience, lots of connections also to different places all over Germany, connections into different universities, they have job experiences and yeah. So if you are a student and you have questions about, you know, maybe to which university you could go or you don't even know what kind of universities in Germany offer um, a degree in IT security, even though I'm not like super... Uh, convinced of IT security degrees, maybe just go uh, computer science instead. Uh, but that's just a per personal opinion. Either way, all of this kind of discussion, if you are unsure what to do, um, you know, you can have on the CSCG Discord and hopefully the people are helpful and can answer questions and so forth. Of course, it's a non-profit. Uh, so if you happen to have some money laying around that you don't know what to do, or if you are a company and you kind of want to, you know, support the next generation of IT security professionals, then maybe consider a donation uh, to the non-profit. Um, everybody's doing this uh, voluntarily. I'm also obviously not getting paid for this video or anything like this. I hope this is clear. I'm just doing this because I'm a member of this, uh, of this non-profit. And, you know, being the influencer here, I'm just trying to do my part to uh, spread the word. Of course, we are also looking for industry partners um, and, and there are some possibilities. Uh, so if you are part of a big company and you might want to, you know, think about how you could maybe connect with the next generation um, of upcoming IT security professionals, then uh, feel free to contact um, the, the nonprofit as well. Um, you know, there are options with regards to helping sponsor or organize the event, sponsor prizes and all that kind of stuff. And um, there are um, options um, to do. I know in the hacking world is always uh, difficult to balance, you know, the commercial part with the community part. For example, the CCC co um, Congress, 
um, there's obviously not much um, commercial stuff going on and it's good that way. But of course, we also want to help students find great companies that support hacking and want uh, these kind of that, that are looking for people like that. You know, we, we need jobs. We need to work in this industry. And so if we can facilitate maybe some connection there, I think that's uh, beneficial to, you know, especially the, the students that are playing the CSCG. So yeah, that, that's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to make sure I get the word out there that the CSCG is uh, going on right now. It's still running for a month uh, so of course you lost a month but hey really you have a good chance if you um, if you really have some time available it is time consuming maybe hacking especially if you start from zero but really there's a chance for you to still uh, be in the top uh, ranks to then qualify for the finals and then even maybe uh, travel you know to another country I guess uh, the next uh, finale is in Norway. So travel to Norway with the German team and participate in the European competition. I think it's a really great opportunity or it can be a great opportunity. But even if you don't qualify, I do believe that Discord can be a great community where you can meet uh, like-minded people. So be nice to everybody and then people will be nice to you. Support others if they have questions and I'm sure people will then support you as well if you have any questions. And of course, if you find some topics uh, difficult, check out my channel. I have covered lots of lots of different uh, topics and I'm sure if you watch some of my videos I've also uh, made uh, some of the uh, introductory challenge videos for previous uh, CTFs I guess I will link that also below which um, even if it doesn't match you know the current challenge that you are looking at it still can be very helpful and you know there might be some similarities there and of course if you are not from Germany check out maybe there's another country uh, in Europe uh, that is also participating um, where you can then also end up in the finals um, of the ECSC and maybe you compete against uh, the German team so so definitely check it out um, you know you can see here Spain Portugal Italy, um, Bulgaria, uh, Norway, uh, Estonia, Denmark, Czech, uh, Austria, you know, area. Oh, what's this down here? Cy Cyprus. Cyprus as well. Also, here's a cool after movie of the ECSC um, uh, from 1021 in, in Czech. So maybe you can get a little bit of an idea, you know, how this looks like. Uh, look at all those nerds. Don't you want to be one of those nerds as well? Yeah, really good vibes. Look at this, you know. All those people sitting there hacking together on challenges. Um, it's really, really fun. Um, as I mentioned, I have been also, I, I was also a participant in like 2016 or something like this. Um, I had a great time. I met, I got some really great friends uh, through the, um, through the CSCG. Oh, and oh my God, I almost forgot uh, the Alice CTF team, which is a pretty good German CTF team, um, is basically uh, from previous participants of the CSCG. Uh, it formed out of this because, you know, we played the CSCG and we wanted to uh, continue playing together CTFs and stuff. So this is how the other CTF um, uh, came to be. Um, of course, we cannot uh, take on uh, all the people, but you can create your own um, CTF team. If you ever wondered how you could find your own CTF team, I'm sure on the CSCG Discord, there are probably there are probably other German students that are also looking for CTF teams. So create your own team, uh, play together, um, um, or you can ask if you can join um, an existing team. That's totally the place to, uh, to find people uh, to, to, to play CTFs together. Okay, now I think I said everything. Uh, the important pointers are the CCG is still running for a month, so go participate, especially if you're a German student. Then join the CCG Discord and, you know, meet like-minded people, especially if you have never really met any other people that are also interested in IT security. Um, yeah, tr tr try it. Hopefully you can find uh, some people there. And if you are not a German student, uh, you can still play uh, the challenges in the Earth category, still talk on the CSG Discord if you have questions about that category. And of course, there's maybe the ECSC, so maybe uh, you are from a different European country that is uh, participating um, as well, and you can compete against the German team. And of course, let me shill once again for possible donations. So, you know, uh, even a small donation is very appreciated. The, the donations are mostly used uh, to pay for travel for the students, you know, to um, provide them a cool experience uh, where they can, you know, travel to the finals. Uh, we need hotel, travel cost, uh, insurances, or whatever is necessary, you know, um, food, drinks. 
um, so uh, so that we are able to organize a cool um, event for these students. Um, so that, that's why the donations are important. So maybe consider that. Or maybe even join the nonprofit. Maybe you are interested in helping organize uh, events like this, create challenges, uh, help people and support them on the Discord. Um, I, the nonprofit is always looking for people that are involved and um, and want to engage um, in this kind of community and and help out. Um, it's obviously also greatly appreciated. So you know, if if this is uh, more your jam, then maybe consider that as well. But okay, now for real. Now I think I said everything I wanted to say. So check out ccg.de. You have one more month. Good luck to all the participants and congratulations to all the achievements of the current par um, current participants right now. Uh, it's really awesome to see um, how dedicated you are in solving these challenges and so forth. And yeah, good luck to everybody. And hopefully you have also learned a lot. Cool, see you.